So Bruce, could you tell me about some of the things that farmers should look at when they're thinking about growing continuous corn? Yeah, continuous corn is going to be a, it's, it's going to require a much more intensive management practice all in general. And uh, as long as we're willing to accept that up front, I think uh, everybody would be happy with the outcome. But some of the big things is probably selecting genetics and uh, working with your seed supplier to, to find those right genetics. And you know, here at Syngenta, we, we, we evaluate our hybrids in both rotations and non rotated situations and look at the yield difference between those to, to have a good understanding of that. And so that's the first step. And then also just knowing what hybrids perform locally for you, because that's a if it's not working locally in a corn soybean rotation, it's definitely not going to work in a continuous corn rotation for you. Um, beyond that, though, I think we have to think about effectively managing pests because you're going to have higher pest pressure in there, and rootworm comes to the top of the mind. So and, and using all the tools in the toolbox in those situations, so that's where you're going to have the highest pressure in high situations. And tools like Agrisure Duracade are going to be a great management tool to help you with that. And insecticides like Force uh, CS and Force 3G are also great tools that proven themselves over the last 25 years to help maximize performance in those situations as well. Uh, don't forget about the disease, and, and uh, you're going to have higher levels of disease pressure in those situations. So, you know, managing through a, with a fungicide like Quilt Excel, the right timing of you know, a V5 application followed by an R1 application can, can help in most situations on that. And, and, uh, and then don't forget about nutrients. We have to feed the plant. And in those situations, we've set it up and we protected it. Um, we're just uh, in, a, in a unique situation, new, unique environment. We're probably not going to have as, as much nitrogen naturally available in soil as we would in corn soybean rotation. So that, that additional side stress trip through the field is going to be almost required in those type of situations to really maximize yield.